everyone, and welcome to another episode of Plaid Stallions Toy Ventures. I'm Brian, your host. I've had a really interesting uh, couple of weeks. I took a couple days off to uh, explore and reunite with some old friends, and also managed to go to not one, but two toy shows, and they were in completely different directions. They were both at least like an hour outside of my house, one going west and one going east. I love going to shows outside of my normal stomping grounds because you do end up seeing stuff and dealers that you haven't seen before. So what I thought I would do is give you a recap of each show, show you what I picked up, and there will be a contest at the end of this episode, so please hang tight. So the first place I headed to was a town called Belleville for a show put on by a group called Toy Force. I've been to this once before, and I've been to other Toy Force shows, and they're usually really well done and well worth the drive, and this was no exception. This was held in the arena, and while it is a bit of a smaller mix, there is some really decent vintage in this room, and I'll let the pictures speak for themselves. So I'm amazed at all this stuff at Belleville. There was a 
really great concentration of vintage. There was vintage Mego Star Trek aliens, but surprisingly, there really wasn't anything on my want list. Uh, my big takeaway from this show was this Mego Cornelius. I can't resist a relatively well priced Mego in the wild, and Cornelius is one of my favorites. I made a mistake. I thought I had a type 2 and needed a type 1. That's referring to the type of Mego body. But as it turns out, I ended up with two type 1 early Corneliuses. Um, this isn't a problem. This isn't a really a big deal for me in any way. I, I love having these around. I also picked up a copy of Night of the Creeps, which is a very interesting film from the 1980s. And my friend who came with me picked up a really nice, loose, imperious leader from Battlestar Galactica with his robe. My next stop was this past Sunday's Ontario Toy Con. It's sometimes called TF Con. Other times it's called 80s Toy Con. But it's always in the same place. This show always seems to include like a bonus show. And uh, this time around it was a vintage video game show. This show's a lot of fun to walk through. It is known for kind of higher ticket items. You, you see a lot of like professional dealers there. Uh, but I do enjoy kind of like looking through it. And I occasionally pick up a gem here. And I managed to get something kind of cool. And I'll share it with you after this musical interlude. <laughs>
Also, this show had a little bit of a cameo in spirit by a uh, fellow YouTuber, Analog Toys, a.k.a. Tony Roberts, who I happened upon his action figure, which I believe was released this year of Desert Rat, which is based on Tony. I, I took it as a good omen. So I managed two little finds at Ontario Toy Con. The first is this Trider G7 Galaxy Putty, which as a fan of Shogun Warriors caught my eye immediately. It is a 1980 anime series about a 12-year-old boy who has a mighty robot. So it's something that I definitely would have watched. Uh, this is Galaxy Putty, so basically inside that head is some very expired Galaxy Putty. Uh, this is done by a company called uh, Cheppy Ratty. Well known to Mego collectors like me because they actually carried the Star Trek The Motion Picture line into Italy. And I have a couple of those carded. All in all, this was a good use of $10. My other find is I noticed at the bottom of a friend's table, he had these photocopied Mego header cards. And the funny thing is, I made these photocopies back in the 1990s for a friend. And I guess that friend sold them. And I just couldn't believe that something I had made 25 years ago was sitting under a table and in a very nice gesture the dealer friend of mine who had them said why don't you just take them and uh, that was a pretty nice gesture and I am going to be giving one of these away at the uh, Mega Museum forum sometime this week as well. <music> Thank you.
And as I promised at the beginning of the video, it is contest time. The lovely Isaac will now show you our fabulous prizes. This will be two lots containing our newly created Polyester Pals action figures, copies of Toy Ventures magazine, and some mystery surprises. To enter this contest, all you have to do is like and comment on this video. At random, I will choose two winners, and this contest is open worldwide. One entry per person, please. So that is all the time I have for Toy Ventures this week. Uh, my question to you is, uh, what one thing would you have picked up from either of these shows? Let me know in the comments below, and that way you're entered in the contest as well. Thanks as always for watching. If you are new to this, please consider hitting like and subscribe. We do this every week. If you're not new, please share or tell a friend. That really helps us. So until next time, my friends, talk toys, not others, and be well. Cheers. And if you like what we do, please check out our store. We have eight issues of Toy Ventures magazine available. They are full color, dedicated to vintage toys from the 1960s to the 1990s.